Congress uh, announcing its publicity campaign, its slogan for this election, uh, 2019, Ab Hoga Nyai. We have uh, Vineet Goenka, member of the CKS, uh, and we have Rohan Gupta, spokesperson of the Congress, uh, joining us now. First to you, Rohan, congratulations. The Congress has a slogan. It is, of course, uh, three days before the first vote is to be cast uh, in this election. Absolutely. Thanks for your uh, uh, compliments. And it's all about people. So we are talking about people of the country. We are talking about the promises we have made. We are talking about injustice done to people. And we are here with our commitments, which we have fulfilled in past and we are going to fulfill in future. So we have that kind of cred credibility with people of India that whatever we speak, we have ability, we have capability and intention to deliver that. And we will repeat that this time. Okay. Um, uh, Rohan Gupta, just hold on a second. We do have uh, Vineet Goenka. So let me just go across to him for a reaction. Mr. Goenka, I'm sure you've seen this video. And uh, the sting, at least according to the Congress, clearly is there for everyone to see. It's about intolerance and it's about injustice. It's about inequality and uh, uh, all Indians being treated as one. That seems to be the main theme of this campaign video, going by the visuals. And this is being reflected as we've seen artists, writers, uh, theater personalities, all of them coming out in petition saying, this election, one needs to vote out hate. Your response to this video. Uh, well, I saw this video also, and I also saw the video of Mayawati Ji's rally, which is happening right now, and which your uh, channel also showed it. And Mayawati Ji clearly said Congress is not in a position to take, uh, you know, a position of uh, or fight a contest with Bajinta Party. Uh, their own friends uh, have discounted them. If Mayawati Ji, who was talking about alliance with them, have discounted them, they have rejected them, then these kind of videos have no sense. Bhartinta Party has proved, I think, Bhartinta Party has delivered the five years and people have seen how many toilets have been built, how many gas connections have been given, how many kilometers of road has been given. I think Bhartinta Party will not fear these kind of videos to come. Rather, you, you have not heard the uh, viral message which is going on in the entire UP and where somebody said, you know, Maya agar jamanat pe hai, bhaiya samanat pe hai, aur sahiya jamanat pe hai, to chinta to zarur hogi. So I'm sure, you know, uh, Priyanka Robert Vadra ji has worry because her mother, brother and husband, all three are right now on bail. And that is what is the viral message which I could see in Uttar Pradesh. Uh, Rohan Gupta, I'm sure you'd like to respond there, but uh, if I could also just ask you, you know, this, the, the whole concept, what's clear now, this whole election seems to be going in a very, like a, a presidential in the sense, and also we're seeing uh, companies being brought in, media companies to work on campaigns, you have script writers being brought in, you have uh, lyricists being brought in, directors being brought in to make everything look so jazzy and uh, reach out to the youth. But really it was the BJP that first touched upon this in 2014 when they launched their campaign, Ache Din, which really resonated. Of course, we're not hearing anything about that anymore in this election, on this campaign trail, but still, it seems like the, the Congress is, you know, following in the footsteps of the BJP in a tried and tested... Uh, absolutely, um, absolutely not. There is a basic difference, which is credibility. Obviously, we cannot match BJP in terms of resources and money, uh, but what we have is faith, what we have is truth. What we are talking about is about people of the country. We have just seen BJP spokesperson, we have heard him. What he speaks about opposition. Whoever opposes them, they are their enemies, they are their ruins. That is not Congress. We are talking about people, we are talking about numbers, we are talking about deliverables, we are talking about the history, and we are talking about our manifesto. So nowhere we are talking about uh, opposition or the hate campaign which BJP is doing. And I am telling you this is going to be the repeat of 2004 where BJP was badly rejected b b about their negative campaign. See, Indians are overall positive people. They don't like hate. They don't like threats. They don't like, you know, this kind of coercion which BJP is doing right now. Everybody is feeling as if, you know, this is the second fight of uh, freedom. That's what we are taking uh, this campaign to. Ab hoga nyai. It means the justice will prevail again. Whatever injustice is done by this government in last five years, we are making sure that with specific ideas, with specific commitments, with specific deliverables, with specific timelines, we are going to deliver to this country, the people of this country, who have been badly betrayed by this government in last five years. And look at the comments of Mr. Vinit Koyanka. I have full respect for him. What he talks about is opposition. 
come on this is the time for you to show people what we have done in last 5 years ask ask vote in name of your work rather than talking about opposition people of this country they are not fool they have seen your farzi rashtrawad they have seen your failures they have seen your capabilities at least at least if you have made blunders at least say sorry apologize for it people might give you chance but your arrogance saying that note bandi was success saying that gst was success saying that pulwama was success marketing trying to market the credit of our army okay. jawans i think this is going to boom bang badly on bjp this time okay people, mr mr going you know possibly a fair point uh, uh, mr going you know just respond to that that you know what happened to the ache din slogan for such a successful campaign for the bjp in 2014 we don't hear that anymore in 2019 but also you know i'm getting a sense of deja vu this seems to be this this that it's all about hope is what the congress is saying uh, through this campaign video and the lyrics and in 2014 again it was about hope but then it was the bjp that was uh, uh, running a campaign based on hope and now it's the congress that seems to be running a campaign based on hope Congress campaign of hope is only for the one family. So if it is, it's all about uh, four people there, nothing else. Uh, it is not about Rohan Gupta ji or any other congressman, neither about the citizens of this country. It is only about the hope of these four people: the mother, son, sister, and the brother-in-law. So that's the only hope. Where in Bharatiya Janata Party, such a thing, if you see, you go to villages, you'll understand the female, the women of the uh, country today have the dignity. They have built more than nine crore toilets. you may not understand sitting in the studio the pain the sister goes when she has to go and open for a defecation and or she waits for the darkness to come in. and that those those sisters of ours whom we have given toilet they will remember what is they will understand what is for the children you may not understand sitting in delhi uh, having a gas connection or maybe a electrical uh, induction uh, this thing but talk to the mother who used to cook on when when she has a gas connection she will understand what is for the children if you go and see the farm where uh, get connectivity by the roads or you see how the north is been corrected 831 kilometers never been built i traveled the place from guwahati to taru which is via shillong it should take 12 hours now it's just 2 2 hours distance you go from guwahati to almatpur this is the place for the driver that is our i don't know whether you heard about it it takes 24 hours even if you are the best person most resourceful person on the earth you have a plane or topper but then yet you have to travel on the road and then a boat could you even connect in 6 hours you those are the people who will understand as rohan gupta ji my friend or from the gandhi family they have not visited all these places they will not understand what changes that have happened my request to them would be at least once visit these places where the roads have been made if you go on the kind of movement uh, priyanka robert wadra visited ganga and she would drink the water is because after many many decades ganga water was clear the namami ganga project is clear if you go to praga you will understand my friend salim who was a taxi driver there could get bread and butter for last 6 months because he was you know transporting all the yatris who were going there for two months so that difference only you can understand if you go to the place where poor stay where the uh, people who were you know marginal people who were been rejected dejected in the era of 2004 2014 is to say if you go down south then you'll understand how they have been corrected so you will have to travel for that particular thing and my dear friend rohan gupta ji uh, Pulwama was not a success. Pulwama was a blot. We we felt sorry about this. It was our failure. We could not uh, avoid Pulwama. Our success was Balakot. Our success is air strike. Our success is the surgical strike which we did. We told the devil, dare not look at us. Otherwise, we will deliver this appropriate devastation in your den. And we did that. We delivered the this appropriate devastation in the den of the devil. There by going in Balakot, going uh, that sort of the LOC, which never happened in the last seven decades. So if you ask the army men, if you ask the people who love this army men, those who love nationality, they will tell you it is a change. That's reason because the country now has started taking revenge of the attack. It was not done in the 2011 attack. All right. So